Hello there. The Brexit trade talks have been cancelled. Or have they? Firstly, as ever, please kick that YouTube algorithm up the backside by giving this video a big fat like. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check my YouTube channel daily. So, the Brexit trade talks programme for next week have now been cancelled, for the obvious reasons. Or at least the face-to-face -face meeting has been cancelled. So sadly, this isn't a permanent cancellation, and will therefore not lead to the Brexiteer dream of an inevitable no-deal clean break with the EU at the end of the implementation period. No, we're going to have to keep waiting. Now, these talks were meant to be the second round of face-to-face -face negotiations between the UK negotiator David Frost and the EU Commission's Michel Barnier, together with about 200 from their teams. In a joint statement, the UK and EU said, UK and EU negotiators have today jointly decided not to hold next week's round of negotiations in London in the form originally scheduled. Both sides are currently exploring alternative ways to continue discussions, including, if possible, the use of video conferences. So a virtual meeting might still yet go ahead. It also seems from reports that both sides are ready to publish their Brexit plans, with the Express saying that Michel Barnier, the EU's chief negotiator, is expected to publish a new plan – based on his previous mandate after it is circulated to member states tonight. One EU diplomat said the new position will present the bloc's take-it-or-leave-it offer to Britain. Take it or leave it, eh? Well, I know which of those I'd choose. The Express also reports that the UK is ready to put forward its offering and that... Cabinet Minister Michael Gove last week said it would establish Britain's push for a Canada-style free trade agreement. Describing the plan, an ally of Boris Johnson said, We are producing the text because we are ready to do it. It is not a bespoke trade deal. It is a text based on the precedent of deals the EU has already struck with sovereign third countries. Sounds like there'll be poles apart then especially as the EU has said we are too geographically close to its single market to get anything like what other countries get. So I would say that this is going nowhere then. Now there will of course be calls from all and sundry for those talks to be extended, but so far the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has stood firm and restated that there will be no Brexit implementation period extension. But one thing I do find strange is that I've seen no sign of the Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn calling for an extension, but the leadership outsider Lisa Nandy has. And one of the Labour MPs, Justin Madders, did call for an extension in the Commons yesterday, saying that there would be insufficient capacity in the system to get a deal finalised by the end of the year. But the leader of the House... Jacob Rees-Mogg, said Parliament would stay open and that there is absolutely no need to extend the transition period. Good to see our government projecting some robust determination, the British grit that the rest of the world seethes with jealousy over. And now for some irrelevant news. A couple of other gatherings that have also been cancelled include the Lib Dem, Green Party, Welsh Labour and Plaid Cymru Spring Conferences. And Labour has decided to scale back hugely on its leadership election announcement on the 4th of April. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about all of this? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. 
And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.